What's happening? It's your boy Papa Duck, man. Listen, man. Y'all saw what it had Jamie Foxx apologize to the Jews, right? For whatever he said or whatever, right? This is why I say, man, let me break this shit down. First of all, we got to stop letting that shit that happen. Because we shouldn't apologize to no fucking body, right? And I got so many reasons why, and it's going to make plenty of sense. Make sure y'all share this video. First of all, that is a form of book breaking. That is humiliation to the whole black culture. This is when they take the biggest blackest slave, put him in front of everybody and beat his ass, right? Let the world see the shamefulness, right? Let the world see that we buy we bow down gracefully to them. Even though we didn't individually do it, it's just it sends a message that they're more superior than over us. Second of all, they're not the real Jews. We are. Let's get that straight. Folks stole the whole culture. Third of all, why the fuck should we apologize? Because they're not gonna apologize to us for signing our children over to record companies so that they can exploit us. So that they can push the narrative that niggas kill niggas. This is all they rap about. If you rapping about killing and then you doing this and then what it resulting to. I did a video the other day and I showed you it done got so bad that these jitterbugs are breaking into the funeral homes. Stealing the bodies and the caskets of their ops. Where did this come from? Them. You think they're going to apologize? You saw what Leo Cohen said on The Breakfast Club. Shots out to Charlemagne for setting his ass up. What he said, hey, drugs are bad, fentanyl is bad. He replied, yes, it is bad. And it shouldn't be out there and blah, 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 blah. Then you know what he said? Well, why do you sign artists that talk about using fentanyl, selling fentanyl and whoop de whoop de whoop? You know what he said? That bitch say, I got a family to feed. Black people, we need to start waking up because it get to the point where we got to hold ourselves accountable for the bullshit that happens. Thirdly, I'm going to say this too. Jamie Foxx, along with other people that do this shit, have no choice to a certain degree. Simply because we don't, we don't support those that stand up against these motherfuckers. Nor do we have anything to fall back on when we do put it all out there. Now, let me put that in perspective. If we as black folks supported each other, if we as black folks understood that we need a foundation for us, us right? So when one, so when one of these celebrities go through some shit like this, they got something to fall back on and say, no, nah, man, fuck that. I ain't got to apologize. Why? Because my whole community backing me up. My people backing me up. But we don't do that. So you got to be weary of these people putting all their they money and everything they built and worked for on the line. And we don't have, and we don't, we don't back them up. You got to be real with yourself. You got some people won't risk a thousand dollars, let alone a hundred million. So when they do this shit, sometimes I feel as though, hey man, they doing what they got to do because they don't have shit to fall back on. That's our fault. As a people, we saw Kanye West get in the ring with these people and fought by himself. LeBron James ain't jumping in. Eddie Murphy ain't jumping in. Jordan ain't jumping. Ain't nobody jumped in the ring with Kanye West when he went against these folk and he risked it all, put it all on the line. That nigga got some big balls. Simply because no one else has done it. Not to that magnitude. So we need to start understanding. We need to stop spending our money with these people. We need to start building our own shit. We need our own schools. We need our own factories. We need our own everything. Because it's the, 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 the reality of this shit is we keep spending our money with these people, putting them more in power over us, and we too goddamn crazy to see the shit. So therefore, we, we talk shit about each other. We, we slander each other and not realize that we really need each other. But that's by design. So to some degree, I can't fault us. Why? Because the very people that's running this shit, putting us on TV, exploiting us on TV, putting it out to the world that black folk can't be trusted, black folk don't trust each other, black folk don't do business with each other, black folks are stupid, black folks are the only ones that spend money with other cultures that don't spend their money back, and this is why we think this is okay. Every time that you do not support a black business, bro, you are you are basically... Uh, uh, 
promoting our demise as a people. We have no room to not spend money with each other. That's how bad it is. You cannot afford to not spend money with each other. Every time you walk in the store and put a dollar in another culture's hand, you are participating in your own demise. This shit is chestnut checkers, and it's so simple. It is very simple to understand this. Very simple. You don't have nothing. Why should we make your voice worth a damn? We vote for people year, years after years after years that we know ain't going to do shit for us, that ain't never did shit for us, ain't going to do shit for us, but yet we want to blame other people for where we're at. It's time we start taking our own responsibility in this shit. And if you don't, then don't complain, bro. Don't complain. It's simple. We put the very people that's running the world and running us in power every time we spend money with them. Now, I done made different scenarios that's facts. Facts. The only time these people going to start listening to you is when you start taking that money out of their pocket. Until then, they don't give a fuck about you. They don't have to. You put money in their pocket. You walking in their stores. You online shopping with these people. You are funding your own demise, homie. So when shit like this come up, a lot of these big celebrities, of course they're going to buy down because they're not going to put all this shit up for us because we don't have nothing for them. We don't have factories. We don't have uh, our grocery stores. We don't have nothing. And the ones who do got money, they are forced to spend their money with these people. Because we don't have nothing. If you had millions of dollars and you got different companies, you want to spend with somebody black, but shit, ain't nobody black that got toilet paper factories. We don't have tire factories. I'm talking about factories. Not buying it from the factory. I'm talking about we not making it. You know how I feel about school. We need our own schools. But let me give you a good example. Everybody running around buying school supplies and school, 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 school. We should have our own company that manufacture uh, 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 uniforms for school that we buy from But we don't That's just one example We love seafood There's not one black seafood company That I know of or big enough That go out and, and, and manufacture or, or capture and we buy from them They do it We don't See you got one, people, one side of people that make shit You got one side of people that buy shit What you think we are We buy we don't make a motherfucking thing. And this is one of the reasons why this is going to happen. Because when these people don't put years and years of work in, building relationships, doing what they got to do, of course they're going to bow down. Because we don't have nothing for them to fall back on. Nothing to catch them. And at some point, you can't even blame them. And I'm just being realistic with myself. You can't, you can't blame somebody for for, for not putting it all on the line Because we don't support each other to that point And this is simple like This it, this is a simple fix So yes that is a form of butt breaking It's going to continue until we have Some type of equity Into our own Life You get what I'm saying We give our life to everybody else We send our children to school for, we just hand our turn over to the motherfuckers to be brainwashed. Come on, bro. We don't have we don't have nothing. Black folk, we don't have a damn thing. And we need to stop fighting each other. We need to stop. See, I told y'all, when it came to a spirituality with black folks, they told us to pray, get on your knees, wish, hope, and ask. You think they wishing and hoping and asking? That's what you think they doing? If you get on your knees and ask for something and I get out there and physically do it, it's a great chance that I'm going to get it before you get it. God gave you everything you need to do everything you need to do. You just let, like I say, we let other people give us religion. We let other people tell us. Black folks are the only people that got a God that they look up to that don't look like them. We the only people that let other people speak for us. When it comes to anything dealing with us We sell each other out Because we don't have nothing for us to fall back on 
if black folks start coming together, if black folks start spending money with each other, if black folks start understanding how this shit really goes, even though even the ones that's doing this to us will start getting on our team. Watch how they start jumping ships. Cause for, first of all, they they not loyal to each other. Ain't nothing about America is loyal. That's why everything got to deal with documents, paperwork. You got to sign this. You got to fingerprint this. You got to get this notarized because there's no loyalty. You can't trust nothing when it comes to America. You can't trust shit. That's why they got patents, which they create patents before they create the problem. You better follow that, what I just said. They create the patent before they create the problem. This is when you let someone create a, a problem and you leave them in charge of the solution. They're going to make millions and billions. And it's not about the money that when you that high up. But the money controls the people. It's about the control. Money is fake. We're talking about fiat currency. Look up fiat currency. It's fake. The only belief, the only thing money has is the belief that it's real. Like a bitch will take this stack of money and kill you because they think that it's real. We under that spell. See, I keep trying to tell y'all think when you talk about spells and voodoo and all that, y'all be thinking about Haitians and Jamaicans and this. And, no, nigga, America. What you think that is? Money. That's a spell. You got people kill you over this fake ass money. But the thing about it is this. Everything could be re-engineered. Like I told y'all, the same way they use money against us, we could turn around and use it against them. But we have to come together. Y'all, you have to understand that. You think these people in our neighborhoods, because they love us. You don't lost your fucking mind. You can spend your money in these people's shops or, or, or stores your whole life. If somebody die, you think they coming to the funeral? You think they gonna send flowers? You think they finna say, hey man, you know such such be coming in here for 20 years. You done passed away. You know they gonna say, oh man, my bad. Uh, you want a bag for that? It's about business. Back home where I'm from, from Bell Glade, we got a spot called Dixie Fried Chicken. You know how many motherfuckers done kept that motherfucking place running, buying that chicken, and you know what they did? They sold that bitch to some Arabs. This is a prime example of business. Arabs will come there, got nothing to do with the culture. Nothing to do about the times you stop by, grab you something to eat, you and the fellas kicking it. They don't care about none of that shit. They'll knock that bitch down and build another spot because it's about business. This is why I hate America because everything is about business. These people give you fake information because of business. Fake surgeries so that you could come back and get another surgery because of business. Man, fuck this shit, man. Man, I hope y'all got some out of this video, man. Make sure y'all share this video. I'm going to start another Facebook page because they, they shadow banning me on Facebook. People see me in the streets. People asking, do I still do video? Because they are limiting my reach. You feel me? But it's all good because what's real is real. And like I be saying, man, you ain't got to go to church to be a real one. All you got to do is have common sense. That's it. God ain't going to punish you because you on that path. God ain't gonna punish you because you want to know the truth. And you do not have to go through someone to get to God. That don't make no sense. I love y'all, man. Like I said, man, please share this video. And we must stop this shit, man. Because if we don't, we're gonna always be at their mercy. You feel me? In real life. Like I tell y'all the time, man, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. I'll let y'all next one. On the next one.